ready to fly. She, she can't, can't speak, speak, Scoop. I know. We still have a problem. The parachute is torn and there isn't a spare. Stella can't go into space without her parachute. Otherwise, she won't be able to come back home safely. Hmm. <gasps> Bob, I think I know how to fix it. Lofty, really carefully, please. Well done, Lofty. Phew. Let's get over to Mission Control. Be patient, JJ. Here we go. All together. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stella! You can do it! Break the record, little rocket! <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just a tiny bit confused. Oh, no! Why don't you press the undo button a few times? That's a good idea, Scoop. <laughs> Oh, I think it's woken up. Uh oh, this is very bad. It does Moomy's enjoying it? I've never seen Leo move so quickly. Come on, Leo, where are you? I need that spanner. There you are. Have you got my spanner? Uh, no, because the robot arm's got me. Oh, oh no! The fin box stuff. It's all right. I'll get you out. Oh dear. My robotic picking system. It's not responding. Oh no, I should have never touched it. I am so sorry. Can it be reprogrammed, Roland? Yes, but that's going to take ages. I oh, will never get all the toys into the delivery vans by the end of the day now. Oh, I've ruined Christmas. We'll figure something out. Come on, robot picker arm, get to work. Hey, what if we all pretended to be the robot picker arms? Maybe we could get all the gifts in the vans. That is a great idea, Leo. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. to fix the track. But maybe I should clear the cement first. Uh, Leo, look at the time. Oh, no. It's three o'clock. Bob is test driving the train, and it's coming to this station. <gasps> but the train can't drive over that. It has to be straight. The signal 
wheels are all working and ready. And the train's ready too. Let's get this test drive started. Good luck. my notes on what to do in an emergency. And when will the train get here? No! Then do something! Quick! I... I can't. There's too much to think about. Come on, Leo. Focus. Okay. First, I need to stop the train. But... The track's broken. Brake now. Brake now. Warning received loud and clear. Applying brakes now. I'm so sorry. I put the team in danger. All because I couldn't concentrate on one job at a time. You managed it in the end. And saved the train. But what are we going to do about the station and the track? There's just enough time before the train makes its first journey. So, can we fix it? Yes, we can. Yes, we, we can. can. are on their way. <coughs> and that's why we always wear a safety hat on a building site. <laughs> I knew. Shall I sing Lofty's lifting song next? Well, I lift in the morning and I lift in the evening and I lift in the afternoon, which connects the morning with the evening, which is how time works. Everybody, I... I'll never wake him up. We shouldn't have stayed up all night playing sp... Mm. That's it! Space Robot! Mm. Attention, Space Robot Muck! Mm. Bob the Builder needs you! <gasps> I'm awake, Space Captain Leo! Come on, Space Robot! We've got a build to rescue! Hyperdrive to maximum! I lift things up, then I lower them down. <sighs> I lift things up and then I lower them down. Seventh verse, everybody! Stop! Why? Because, um, because here comes Mook! Yes! Bob, everyone, I'm so sorry for being late. Well, you're here now. So, Lofty, let's get these pods fitted. What happened? We stopped for a quick rest and we fell asleep. We were tired because I kept us up all night playing space robots in hyperspace. Space robots in hyperspace? Yeah, it took ages to reach the top level. We love space robots. But we've never reached the top level. Can you show us, Leo? <laughs> yes, go on then, Leo. Thanks, Bob. Yay! Thanks, Leo! Right. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can!
Space Captain Leo, are you going to have a go on the wheel? Oh. <sighs> we can't wait any longer. Muck, Lofty, you're going to have to start the path by yourselves. Yeah! Oh, thank goodness. And I'll go and find the others. Cooper, look out! Cooper, no! with animals. Really? Hadn't noticed. Can someone please separate this cart and dog? Oh, you have a path to lay. Hey! Don't dogs like to play ball? Maybe you are good with animals after all. <laughs> I knew it! OK. We haven't got much time until the mayor and her cat arrive. Let's get this job finished. Yes, yes Bob! Bob. Tibbles here to see the vet. Her fur needs a good fluffing and puffing out. Oh, yes. Through the cat door, please, Mayor Madison. Who's my pretty little darling? Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> don't be silly, Muck. Put your lights on if you're scared. Ooh. Oh. Ah. <gasps> Don't be so silly. And please let go of my hand, both of you. I was just trying to make you feel safer. I think we should stay here till the lights have gone. Shall I hold your hand, Leo? <laughs> <laughs> We're home. I was so scared. 
Were you Dizzy? Where is Dizzy? I thought she was behind you. So did I. We have to go back and look for her. Not on our own. It's too scary. We'll have to wake Bob up. Bob! Wake up! Hmm. Bob! Oh, now what? Wake up! Bob! We did something silly. And we've lost Dizzy! We're really sorry, Dizzy. We didn't realise you weren't with us until we got back to the yard. Are you OK, Dizzy? I'm fine. But he isn't. Well, he's hurt his leg. I'll take him to see Tilly the vet first thing. Can you look after him until then, Dizzy? I'd love to. He's looked after me by eating all the creepy crawlies. Ew. <laughs> of him anywhere. He's probably lost forever. Who oh, no. Don't worry, Lofty. There must be a way to find him. The poor thing. He hasn't even had his lunch yet. <gasps> That's it! What's it? If it's the giraffe's lunchtime, he might come out if he sees some food. Good idea, Lofty. If you drive slowly around the zoo, he's bound to smell the food and come out to get some. Let's go. But go really slowly. I will, Bob. And quiet. some lunch. I've got some lovely tasty leaves for you. It's working, Lofty. Oh, wow. Look at him. Isn't he great? Now we just need to lead him back to the enclosure. OK, Bob. was... Oh, we took it to the recycling centre. Uh-oh. Does that mean our clock won't be ready in time? No, Safi, it will be ready. I'll just have to go to the recycling centre and find the box. I'm coming too. It was me that took the wrong box, after all. To the recycling centre! <laughs> No. No. <gasps> this looks like it. Oh. Oh, keep looking. Ah, here it is. Ugh. Oh, we'll never find it. There are so many boxes. And they all look the same. Everyone's asking when the clock will be ready, Bob. Will it be finished today? I promised, didn't I? <laughs> of course it will. 
<sighs> we must have looked in every box. I've really let the Spring City rockets down. I better call Bob and tell him we can't find anything. Oh. Oh no, I've left my mobile at the yard. Oh, I remember putting it on top of the box with the figures in. That's funny. I know it wasn't there when I took the box. Are you sure, Leo? Yes, the lid was flapping. <gasps> Wait. Hold on. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. Uh, what are you thinking? It's a long shot, but it's worth a try. What's worth a try? What's going on? Maybe, just maybe, my mobile phone fell into the box. OK. <gasps> huh? Found it! Yay! Yes! Oh, now I get it. <laughs> OK, Muck, we've got the right box at last. Well done, Leo. Off we go! We found the box! Yay! Woohoo! Woo Yay! Let's get going, everyone. It's not long till four o'clock. And I promised someone... Their clock will be built by then. Oh, I can't see Dash Lightning anywhere. Ah, Leo, can you help me put up the pyrotechnics? Pyro what? Pyrotechnics. We're going to use them to create the sparks for when Dash flies. Come on, I'll show you. <gasps> Wait! There he is. Dash Lightning! Oh, no, he's going. I just have to meet him. OK, Leo. These are the pyrotechnic units. They light up and send sparks out. So how do we get them ready for filming the scene? If you look, all the pyrotechnic units are pointing up. That means the sparks will shoot up. If the units point downwards, it means the sparks would fall down onto the lights. And cause a fire. Exactly. But these units are all fine, so you can raise them up. There he is. Dash lightning. Dash lightning. Ouch. Dash oh, no. Lightning. Slow down. Ugh. Mark. Sorry, Leo, but I'm looking at dash lightning. Ah, phew. They're all still pointing upwards. Dash lightning! Dash lightning! Dash lightning! Dash lightning! Bob the Builder? Oh, Dash. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Whoa! You've got a hammer and a chisel. Oh, I love anything to do with building. Look, Dash. I've got a crane. And you should see me, Dick. Dash, uh, we have to go. Carl wants me to test your stunt harness. And I especially love diggers and cranes. Whoa! What a gym! <laughs> this could take a while. <laughs> What a bucket! That must be his somewhere. Hey, Mum! <gasps> can you help me? Uh, sure. Uh, what can I do for you? I need you to make sure that the lights on the pyrotechnic units are still green. If they turn red, it means something is wrong. No problem, Wendy. Hmm. Wendy! I can see green lights. And... Dash lightning! Wendy! I got a zoom! Got a boom! Yay! Uh, Bob, why is it called a natural history museum? Well, Muck, that's because it's a collection of things that you find in nature, like animals and flowers. And some of them are from past times, like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs! Dinosaurs. That's why these doors are so huge, Leo. So that we can get the dinosaur skeleton inside. 
A dinosaur skeleton? Oh, cool. Mr. Bentley gave me all the measurements. The skeleton should fit in without any trouble. Wow! I can't wait! OK, Lofty. Let's get these doors in place. Handles. I've left the door handles back at the yard. I'll have to go back for them. No problem. Plenty of time. We're almost done. OK, then. Muck can take me. You carry on here. And when you get back, Bob, everything will be finished. Great. I'll be back soon. A real dinosaur skeleton. I can't wait. Won't be a minute, Muck. Door knobs, door knockers, door numbers. Ah, door handles. What on earth? Ooh. Ooh, I don't like it. You're making me giddy. Cooper, stop that. I don't know what you're doing here, Cooper, but I don't have time to take you home right now. What are you going to do, Bob? You can't leave him here with Pilchard. You'll just have to come back with us to the museum while I deliver these door handles. And then I'll take you home. <laughs> when you're ready, Wendy. Lofty, prepare to lower. OK. And lower. No, 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 no! I told you, please don't scare the horses. Oh, sorry, I forgot. This is a racetrack, not a road, yo. Last stack of straw bales, and we're done. Wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Where are my racehorses? Uh, they went that away. No, they're heading for the racetrack. I'll never catch them now. I think I know how to get those horses back. Wendy, Leo, get ready to close the paddock gate. Scoop, come with me. Partner, let's head them off at the pass. Hey, eh? Well, not you too, Bob. You're talking nonsense like Leo. Sorry, Scoop. Just head for that gap in the fence. But Bob, how am I meant to keep up with racehorses? Especially extra fast, extra difficult to catch ones. We're not going to race them. We're going to use our own talents. Remember, they're also extra nervous and scared of machine noise. Oh, yeah. Hold up, Scoop. Wait for my signal. Now! Let's go! Good work, partner. That was extra noisy and extra brilliant. You know, Bob, I think I might be a thoroughbred machine. Here they come. Ready, Leo? This is your chance to be a real cowboy and round up those horses. Hi. Um... And they're in top gear! Don't worry, I grew up with horses. Here's what we're going to do. 
Lofty, extend your crane arm as far as you can and as fast as you can. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. Only me. <gasps> I'm the ghost! I'm not scared, I'm not scared, I'm not scared! Yes, I am! Yes, I am! Yes, I am! <laughs> if this doesn't make Bob jump, nothing will. Why don't you take a turn at this trail stop? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. What's this I found? A toffee apple! <laughs> Another treat! Wow! I don't get it. The spider was supposed to... <gasps> oh! 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 <sighs> this entrance is going to be cool! Ah! Whoa! Oh dear, oh dear. What's that? It looks like a ghost! Done. <gasps> the ghost is coming! Move out, team! Now! <gasps> uh -oh. <gasps> oh no! How am I gonna get it back? This is all my fault. <gasps> I can help! <laughs> and it sounds <laughs> just terrible. Oh. oh, Leo. What's gone wrong, Leo? Well, Scoop mixed the keys up when he moved them, huh? I told you I needed that diagram. You said you knew all about music, Leo. You shouldn't pretend to know something when you don't. Well, at least I know the difference between the black keys and the white ones. <gasps> OK, OK, you two. Time out. <sighs> <sighs> Will I have to cancel my special guest, Bob? No, no, you won't have to do that. Leave it with us, Roland. Are you sure? We're certain. Oh. <sighs> Now, without blaming each other, what really happened? 
I got a bit carried away when Roland asked me to put the keyboard together. I thought I knew more about music than I do. Sorry, Wendy. Sorry, Bob. But you had the diagram to follow. The keyboard looked like a big jigsaw, so I didn't think we needed it. I'm really sorry, too. Didn't you know that some keys look the same but sound different? We do now. And every key has a special position it needs to be in to play its note properly. Can you find the diagram, Scoop? Yes, Bob. Look, all the keys are numbered underneath. I found it. Good work, Scoop. So, all we have to do is follow the diagram. Oh, Bob, we can do this. We really can. But first, we have to tell Roland we're going to put it right. We're so sorry, Mr. Sweet. We should have followed your diagram. We'll do it properly this time. So I don't need to cancel my special guest? No. Are you going to tell us who it is? Not yet. I don't want to spoil the surprise. But he'll be here in no time, so... Can you fix my keyboard, please? Yes, we can! Get ready to lift the screen. And I'll make sure that Mayor Madison and the Spring City Rockets keep back. OK, Lofty, lift it up. Hold it, Lofty. Two-ton, move out. No problem, Bob. Lofty, really carefully, please, move the screen towards the frame. There. And finally, we can take away the scaffold towers. That all looks nice and sturdy. Quick! The screen is falling! The supports are falling too! Don't worry, I'll help! Quick everyone, let's move to a safe distance! Now the frame is breaking! Leo, what happened? Why did the supports come away from the frame and why did the frame break? Uh, it wasn't Leo's fault, it was mine. I left Leo without any help because I wanted to help the Spring City Rockets instead. I am so sorry. But it is my fault. I should have never attempted such a big job by myself. Sorry, Bob. Oh, and I'm sorry too. I kept asking for Lofty's help. Wow, that's a lot of sorries and a lot to fix. So what are we going to do? People will be arriving soon to watch Mila. Wendy, call Muck and Scoop. We're going to need their help. Spring City Rockets and Mayor Madison, I need you to find something for people to sit on. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we can! And this time, Leo, I will make sure I'm there to help you. Scoop! Scoop! What? What 
What is it, Muck? Are you asleep? Well, not now. What's the matter? I'm a bit worried about your scoobalicious concrete-tastic whatever you called it. No need to worry, Muck. I guarantee that by the end of the day, everyone will be talking about it. Wow, my concrete looks amazing! It's so colourful and fun and... and squelchy and sticky. Uh-oh. Scoop, this concrete's not dry. Oh, this concrete isn't dry. I know, Lofty. Ew. Oh, no! Why isn't my concrete dry? I, I don't understand it. Come on, Scoop. Back up. Back up. This is the strangest concrete I've ever seen. I can't believe we left it all night. And it's still not dry. Well, you were right about one thing, Scoop. Everyone's talking about your concrete. Oh, Bob. This is all my fault. Anyone can make a mistake, Scoop. It wasn't a mistake, Bob. I did it on purpose. On purpose? When I saw Chef Tati experimenting with different colours and ingredients, it looked so much fun. I wanted to try something fun too. I'm really sorry, Bob. I'll go and clear it all off. You know, I'd never have created my legendary purple fizzle crush chunky delight if I hadn't tried mixing red currants, rhubarb, and cheesy biscuits. That sounds, um, interesting. But it has given me an idea. Muck, take me back to the yard. Right, Scoop. I want you to try again using some fun ingredients that don't come out of the dustbin. Wow! Yellow, red and blue cement! And crunchy gravel chunks too! And it's quick drying. And I'll mix it all up for you! square frame to hold the giant TV. So what's next, Leo? Hmm. Let me check. Yoo-hoo! Lofty! You'll never guess what happened. I had a super-duper idea for me and the Spring City Rockets to make banners. But now we need your help to hang them. Oh, I would love to. Marvellous! Come this way. Right, Lofty. Next, I need your help to attach one Two supports to the back of the frame. Uh, Lofty? Where'd he go? Okay, I guess I can start building the support frames by myself then. Wow! Look at the size of it! How big is the remote control? Actually, this TV doesn't have a remote control. My tablet will pick up a signal and send it to the TV. And then the TV show appears on screen. Wow! Here. Let me show you. Have you forgotten your password again? Everyone knows that. It's, it's builder, builder number, number one. one! Oh, Bob. There. All the banners are hung. High five to that! Uh, oh, uh, yes. Um, hi. Uh, five. Thanks, Mayor Madison. You are so cool for thinking to make banners. Cool? Me? Well, then, how about another super-duper idea? We could have 
A popcorn machine? I'll call Chef Tatty and see if you could collect it, Lofty. Right home. Can you help us, Lofty? Well, um. Leo looks okay, so yes, of course I can help you. Go, Lofty! Woohoo! Ah, oh, Lofty, thank goodness. I'm having trouble holding the brain steady. Oh, I'll just have to finish the job by myself. I've not done too badly so far. Too many bricks here for me to carry in one go, Leo. That's OK, Scoop. We can get Muck to carry those. Um, where is Muck? I oh, haven't seen him in ages. <laughs> Muck, what are you doing? Hey, Scoop, catch this! Scoop, no! Oh, got it! Get this one! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I want a go. No, Lofty, not you too! Slow down, Lofty! I Oh, no! And so that is how I managed to survive the icy dangers of the frozen north. Thanks, Tutan. You're very welcome, Bob. Well, it looks like they've started tidying up. They must be nearly finished. Out of the way! Gang are coming through! Oh. Whoa! What's that? That doesn't sound good. Sorry, Bob. I did try to warn them. Don't worry, Leo. Scoop! Stop! I can't, Bob! Neither can I! What are we going to do? I think the first thing will be to get this lot off the ice. Oh, thanks, Lofty. Your turn now, Muck. Yes, Wendy. Thank you. Shall I start my engine? No! Uh, no. Uh, please don't do that. Just leave everything to me. Ready? Here it goes. And here in the harbour, we can use wave power to light the lighthouse. Amazing. Yes, Mr Bentley, but... And on the end of the pier, more wind power to run the amusement arcade. That's interesting, but... And, of course, we have bigger plans for Spring City itself. It's just that... Onwards, Philip. As you wish, sir. Mr Bentley. Bob. These plans are great, but... 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 Perhaps we should make sure the wind farm at the Sea Life Centre works first. Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. Uh, better stick to the plan. Uh, Philip, back to the Sea Life Centre, please. Certainly, sir. Easy does it, Lofty. So that's the first row finished. Should we do the next row now? No, no, let's get these spinning around first. I want a surprise, Bob. Can you take the brakes off, Leo? OK, let's see how it goes. That doesn't look right. <gasps> oh, no! Bob, look! We've been thinking ahead! Hang on a moment. They're too close together! <gasps> Uh -oh. oh, dear, my lovely new turbines. I suppose I'd better inform the mayor of this little mishap. Oh, no, I broke the 
spinny things. Scoop. Oh, Bob. I wanted to make room for more spinny turbines in the future, so I got Lofty to move the foundations closer together. I said it was a bad idea. You should have stuck to the plan, Scoop. But I thought I was, you know, thinking ahead, like Mr Bentley said we should. I'm so, so sorry, Bob. All right. The problem now is we only have three working turbines. They won't generate enough power for the Sea Life Centre. And the Mayor expects to switch over the wind power tonight. We need a new plan, Bob. If only we could use sun power instead of just spinny wind power. Ah, uh, you mean solar power, Scoop? Oh, yes. Just like at the zoo. Brilliant. That gives me an idea. But we'll have to hurry. Come on, team. No, Safi. It's for Bob, and I cannot wait to give it to him. Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Right, Lofty. Bob and Leo are preparing the snow machines, so can you help me hang the tree lights? Of course. Uh, oh, um, I'll just put this present down first. Did you hear that? There's gonna be snow machines! Oh, wow! <laughs> Bob's present will be safe here, away from all the tools. Let's put the presents here, and then we can arrange them into a nice display around the tree. OK, Scoop. How are you getting on, Leo? Well, you said to prepare the snow, but I can't find any. Did it come in bags or ice packets? Oh, no! What if it's melted? <laughs> Leo, we're going to use pretend snow. And we're going to make it in those machines. Wow! Can you show me, Bob? Uh, maybe after you tidy up these boxes. The tree lights are going to look great, Wendy. Well, let's test them and see. <gasps> oh. Hey, Wendy, I'm about to start making the snow. Can you help me carry the bottles of fluid? Sure. I'm all finished here. Bob is here and the tree lights are twinkling. This is the perfect time to give him his Christmas present. Oh, how lovely. Oh. You're ruining the display. But I'm trying to find... it. Oh, never mind. Bob's gone. I'll find it later. Come on, Mum. Let's finish the display. Is there snow yet? Not yet. Once the fluid is in, the machines need to be switched on. Oh, then is there snow? Not quite. The machines churn up the fluid to make tiny white bubbles that stick together, and that makes the pretend snow. All done. Do you two want to go down and watch the snow fall over the tree? Woo-hoo! I'm going to see it snow! <laughs> I think that's a yes from Leo. OK, that's one loop secure. Just one more to... I don't believe it! Natty Fred is back in the lead. OK, Team lofty -o. we're ready for the dish. Uh, Leo? Bob is calling us. What? Oh, hang on. There we go. Hopefully that'll put me back on top. Hmm. Hello, Leo. 
Right, Bob, we're going to start lifting the dish. Thanks, Leo. Hoist up a little, Lofty. That's great. Now extend your boom. OK. <sighs> start hoisting again. Mm. Uh, this feels funny, Leo. Should I carry on? Yes. Well, if you say so. It's escaping! Come back, Dean! Ah, there's nothing like one of Chef Tatty's nice fruit smoothies and a quiet walk by the river. Look out! Ah! Well, at least I didn't spill my... Ah! Sorry! Smoothie... Oh, stretching is important if you want to avoid injuries. Ah! That's awesome, Mr Bentley. I didn't know you were so good with the spray can. Well, I do teach a few evening classes. Watch out! Oh. Oh. How did this happen? Why did you let go of the dish, Lofty? Uh, I... Um... It wasn't Lofty's fault. I didn't tie the dish on properly because I was too busy playing Furious Fish. I let down Team lofty -o. I'm so sorry. Our stage is broken and our cool banner's ruined. I've used up all my paint, too. And with the dish in the river, the Spring City Rockets won't get to appear on the 6 o'clock news show. What if I used my real fishing skills to get it back? If I work with Blocky as a proper team, we can hook it out of the river. That's a great idea, Leo. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. But what nobody knew is that something strange lurked in the woods. <gasps> then what happened, Leo? I can see a campfire! That must be Leo! <laughs> it rumbled and grumbled in the darkness. It had eyes so big and bright they could blind you. And a cry so terrifying that it could turn your hair white overnight. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> don't be silly, Mark. Put your lights on if you're scared. Ooh. Oh. Ah. <gasps> the creature. Don't be so silly. And please let go of my hand, both of you. I was just trying to make you feel safer. I think we should stay here till the lights have gone. Shall I hold your hand, Leo? <laughs> <laughs> Dizzy. I thought she was behind you. So did I. 
We have to go back and look for her. Not on our own. It's too scary. We'll have to wake Bob up. Bob! Wake up! Bob! Oh, now what? Wake up! Bob, we did something silly. And we've lost Dizzy!